India's ambitions in space are about to take off. Five years ago, it launched Chandrayaan-1, an unmanned mission to the moon. And now, it's looking far beyond. This is the spacecraft that will take off on a long voyage this week. Its main aim, to prove India's ability to reach the orbit of Mars. If it's successful, India will become only the fourth country to reach the red planet. That's put this project firmly in the global spotlight. The Chandrayaan mission, for example, I mean, that was tremendously successful. It generated um, incredible scientific information about um, the planetary science of the moon that everyone views that as a really positive thing. So I think all of the activities that are going on in India with regards to the upcoming launch, with regards to the upcoming Mars mission, is, uh, is great for space exploration in general. Final preparations are underway to get the orbiter ready for launch. Of all the scientific instruments on board, the most important will be looking for methane, a gas considered to be an indicator of the possibility of life. Once the Mars spacecraft is launched from the east coast of India, it'll take quite a while, at least until later next year, to actually reach the orbit of the red planet. And when it's there, all of the information that it collects will be received right here by this antenna. It's the main communication link between the Earth and India's Mars mission. It's the country's largest dish antenna, and it's been made entirely in India. One of the companies that helped build it is L&T. The firm has contributed to nearly all of the country's space missions in the past 50 years. And although that has helped the company advance technologically, it didn't mean much in terms of business, until the recent spurt in projects by ISRO, India's space agency. ISRO has got a huge plan for launching a large number of communication satellites, the surveying satellites and so on. So now you'll have a number of flights coming up. They have successfully demonstrated that they can launch satellites for other countries. And therefore, I believe companies like ourselves who have actually demonstrated a continuity in this whole field and have that kind of a long-term vision, I think this is the time where we will now start seeing the fruits of that. Benign or violent. More launches may be good news for Indian companies. But why is a country that's tackling high levels of poverty and an economic slowdown spending $1 billion a year on a space program? Some argue that space technology can contribute to the country's development. India has to walk on two feet, one which is bringing people out of poverty and the other which looks at high technology. Look at water resources mapping, look at land resources mapping, look at fishermen getting the best catch in the oceans. Recently when the cyclone happened, in 1999 India did not have enough satellites, enough uh, Doppler radars, 10,000 people lost their lives. Recently when the cyclone happened in Odisha, the loss of life was in double digits. Is there a price for that? Exploring another planet may not be as useful for India's people as sending satellites into space. But the fact that it has developed a spacecraft capable of reaching Mars is a big step for India. If the mission succeeds, it'll do a lot for national pride and could also give India a much-needed boost in its space race with China, a race in which India has until now been lagging far behind.